What if the key to saving a generation of children from malnutrition lies hidden in plain sight? In the heart of Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo, where 25% of the 99 million strong population is struggling to access enough food, a shocking solution is emerging, edible worms. In a country ravaged by food insecurity, where half of all orphans suffer from malnutrition, the World Food Programme is sounding the alarm. Something drastic must be done. And that something may just be lurking beneath our feet. Edible insects, including larvae, have been hailed as a game changer in the fight against malnutrition and environmental degradation. At the forefront of this revolution is Farms for Orphans, an organization determined to bring protein-rich larvae to orphanages in Kinshasa. Francois Lucadi, the agricultural engineer behind the initiative, explains the mission. We realized that there was a serious problem of malnutrition and lack of nutrients among children, especially those under five. So we thought, here's what we can do to solve this problem once and for all. Why not put in place a sustainable solution, nutrition and environmental problems? So we turn to insects. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization has long touted insects as a powerhouse of nutrition, rich in fat, protein, vitamins, fiber and minerals. Now in Congo and beyond, insects are being used for human consumption and even animal feed. As traditional meat resources dwindle and food insecurity rises, this unconventional approach is gaining traction. Farms for Orphan produces an astonishing 660 pounds of palm larvae per month, feeding hundreds of children each quarter. Backed by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the organization aims to scale up production and sell larvae commercially to subsidize donations to orphanages. Already, they supply four restaurants in Kinshasa, where palm worms are gaining popularity. But what about the ick factor? Eating insects might seem unappealing to some, but in many cultures, it is a common and nutritious practice. In Mexico, chapulines, also known as grasshopper, are a traditional snack. In Thailand, fried cricket and bamboo worms are popular street foods, and even in Europe, insect-based products are slowly gaining acceptance as sustainable food sources. In Kinshasa, the benefits of eating worms are clear. It is a sustainable nutritious solution to a pressing problem. With continued support, this initiative could expand and help even more children in need. This is Ifelua Daniel reporting on a unique and impactful solution to malnutrition in the Democratic Republic of Congo.